Hello folks, hope you're all keeping well. I was reading there a few folk in the comments asked if they could see a little more of the 17 Hornet in action. Well, here you go hey. Now, some of you may recognise the piece of hill ground I'm shooting over from other videos where I successfully took hood at crows using the 2-2 rimfire and subsonics. But I'm pretty glad I brought the 17 Hornet with me this morning because it turned into a real scunner of a day with wind, rain, sunshine, roughly repeated in that order throughout the whole day. Now, I'm only going to be shooting at about 75 to 80 yards here, which is in no means long range for the little 17 Hornet, but the ability of that little speedy round to buck the wind a lot more than what a 2-2 rimfire with subsonics can do at these ranges and further in these windy conditions is why I brought it this morning. Now the rifle in question is a CZ Varmint 527 in a form Caro stock and with its 25 inch barrel and a Wildcat Panther moderator on it it's a wee bit difficult to manoeuvre inside the hide but I persevered. The scope now is an old PCAR 7 to 20 by 45 with target turrets and a very fine radical and they're mounted up with a set of millet angle lock mounts. The first bird to show up, albeit in the distance, is a magpie, which isn't really what I'm after but they do make a good secondary target, but I'm going to hold my fire and hopefully get a shot at a hooded crow. Now, I've been sitting for over an hour, and you can see by the fact that the windmills have disappeared into the clouds, and the rain has started, that the day has really started to go to pot. It's these sort of conditions I'm really glad of these little pop-up hides. Look, it's no penthouse sweet, but it definitely does help keep you dry and make it more bearable. No, it's not a rotten stag, it's the resident bull, and he looks as if he's in a right hurry too. Now this is usually sheep country, but this year they've been trying something different with a few head of cattle. Looks like the magpies are making another visit. I'm actually hoping that they'll settle down to the rabbit and start to feed and hopefully decoy in a hooded crow or two. But they're really tempting me at the minute. There usually is a couple up here, but they're obviously more than two at the minute for some reason. They usually don't like the high ground, whether it's because there's not much in the way of trees or hedgerows up here or what, I'm not sure. A few minutes later and another one turned up and temptation got the better of me. I was lining up in this one to take him only for him to hear the farmer's quad behind me and away he went. It wasn't long though till another magpie turned up and since none of the hooded crows had appeared in the last couple of hours, I decided it was high time I opted for my secondary target. Ah. 
I don't know about you, but the impact to me sounded a lot louder than the actual gunshot. I doubt the little panther moderator's doing its job. Looks like the big fella's out in the prowl again. Finally, the hooded crows have made an appearance. It's on the ground, but it's tucked in behind that dry stone wall, and I just can't see it to shoot it. It really seems more interested in the magpie I've just shot, rather than the bait or the Hit it crow decoy. Finally, it's landed out in the open. But I barely get him in the scope when he's off again. I don't know what happened until you see the footage from the other camera. This full heifer charged across the field and spooked it. Talk about a lucky crow, hey. Moments later, another magpie lands, and my patience have wore that thin, you get spit through it. That little 20 grain VMAX, travelling at 3,600 feet per second in my home loads, really is devastating on magpies. That heifer started nosing around where I shot that magpie. And by the look of her reaction, she wasn't too happy with what she found. That big fella is definitely annoyed at somebody. And hopefully it's not me because, honestly, Two rows of sheep wire is not going to stop him. Ah, uh, maybe he just needs a hug. I was in the middle of changing the battery on the camera when another couple of magpies turned up. I maybe hit a little low, but it doesn't seem to matter with the 17. Finally, the hooded crows return. Surely, after waiting all this time to get an opportunity, I'll finally get one. The birds certainly seemed keen enough. But for some reason, they just wouldn't land. I didn't know at the time, but when the farmer dropped off his quad, he left his pickup and trailer parked in the field just behind me, which might explain why the birds were so unsettled.
then, when one finally did land, it just wouldn't settle. In hindsight, there was a couple of times when I should have had the shot off. But I was hoping for a clearer target, and there's a lot of wire in the way. Then he grabbed a piece of magpie and was away. To say I was annoyed would be an understatement. I was about ready to spit the dummy. I waited for another hour or more, but in vain. It was too cold, damp, and I needed a pee. Well, this is my setup again. Just a decoy crow, dead crow, or a wire cradle, and a dead rabbit, both of which are a wee bit manky because they've been in the fridge for a while. I need to watch out for where this bull is. Oh yeah, there he is down there. Looks as if he's got something else on his mind. I don't know how friendly he is. But we'll have a look to see where the magpies are. There's one there. There's one. There's one over there. Hello oh, girls. Magpie in there, and one in there. So we got a red up to do. Boy, uh, them boys lucky. A whole lot of used nice young heifers all themselves. That little 17 is quite a destructive little round. And thankfully, the bull had made his way into the adjacent field and was more occupied with a new girlfriend, and would have to travel about 200 yards up the field to an open gateway before he could get back into the field I was in, thankfully. Well, that turned out to be a long, cold and blustery morning, and we didn't get the hood at crows that I was hoping for. But I think we did have a successful test with the 17 Hornet on Magpies, which I had to do a wee bit of, let's say, inventive rearranging to get them presentable enough for the ending clip here. But anyway folks, look after yourselves and cheerio hey.